Relative to expectations, the Los Angeles Lakers have had one of the more quiet off-seasons possible. Yes, they got a new coach in JJ Redick. They also drafted Dalton Connect number 17 overall and Bronny James with the 55th overall pick. But for a team that's trying to maximize a window with two superstar players in LeBron James and Anthony Davis, they haven't done too much. There was talks about them going out and getting the third star this offseason or LeBron taking a pay cut for certain players and those certain players such as Jonas Valanciunas, Klay Thompson, James Harden, and DeMar DeRozan all landed elsewhere. And then as far as the third star, we heard a lot of buzz about a DeJounte Murray potential trade. He went to the Pelicans, so a lot of opportunities have gone out the window. And according to Javon Buha of The Athletic, the Lakers' inactivity has not been due to a lack of trying, but more so they just simply struck out on the free agent targets that they were looking for. Valanciunas went to the Wizards, Clay Thompson went to the Mavericks for a lesser deal just because he believes that's a better chance of him winning, DeMar DeRozan went to the Kings because it would have been tough for them to move money around and get him, and then James Harden signed back with LA, so now it's like what do you do because if you're looking in the free agency market, it's very thin, it's guys like Tyus Jones right now because Gary Trent Jr. was definitely one intriguing name that if the Lakers want to move around some money then they could bring him in, he could be a bucket getter in their system, he had Averaged like 14 points a game and shot near 40% from three last year with Toronto, but he just signed yesterday with the Milwaukee Bucks, so that's a good get for the Bucks on the other side. It doesn't really seem like the free agent market is going to consist of the needle movers that the Lakers were maybe hoping if they wanted to reshape their depth, so it might move towards the trade market now, which they have some guys they could use in the trade as far as salaries. They have D'Angelo Russell they could use in the trade. Jared Vanderbilt has popped up in some rumors, same with Gabe Vincent. So we'll see what ends up happening, but some way or another, we're going to see something happen with the Lakers. You just have to with how much talk there was going into this offseason. Some popular trade targets we've heard, obviously Trey Young, he has been linked to the Lakers for a couple years now. It does definitely seem very unlikely, but it is worth, in, worth noting Zach Lowe of ESPN actually said today, if the Lakers trade them all their picks as well as Dalton Connect, which I believe they can trade at least two first round picks as well as Dalton Connect, who's a first round pick this year so essentially at least three first round picks then they could have Trey Young on their team today but it doesn't seem like they're willing to go all in with the picks to get Trey Young as that's not really the way you win in today's M NBA if you look at the Boston Celtics they have a ton of big guys that can play defense as well Trey Young he is not a big guy he's not bringing you much defense although it would be great for the offense there could be more than just Trey Young to be the missing piece for a Lakers championship puzzle and especially since D'Angelo Russell no he's He's not Trey Young, but he did have a good season last year, so you have to weigh the opportunity cost if you're going all in on a guy like Trey Young. And other teams have been mentioned in trade talks as well. The Portland Trail Blazers have Jeremy Grant. The asking price seems too high for that. They're asking for two first round picks. And the Lakers, they have to be selective. Yes, they want to make a move, but they're not just going to make a trade for the sake of making a trade. They want to make sure it's worth it and makes sense. And then if you look at teams like the Toronto Raptors, they have Bruce Brown, or the Brooklyn Nets, they have Dorian Finney Smith, Orlando Magic, we've heard talks about Wendell Carter Jr. So there's a ton of names. There doesn't seem to be any notable traction on any of them. So it seems like the way things are trending, they're going to run back a team very, very similar to last year and similar to two years ago where they made the Western Conference Finals run. So they're going to be banking on continuity. They're going to be banking on JJ Reddick coming in. Maybe Dalton Connect makes a year one impact. But let me know what you guys think. What should the Lakers do this offseason to maximize the years they have left with Anthony Davis and LeBron James.